Hello, everybody. Welcome to Scotty Side. Thank you for joining me today. We we got a good one here from uh, Law and Crime Network. Married Catholic teacher had sex a time with student in her office. Cops. Uh, yeah, I haven't I haven't seen this at all. So reactions are going to be very real. So let's get into it. Huh? A married mom of three and school counselor at a prestigious Catholic high school has not only been fired, but now she faces six counts of sexual battery. Ooh. Emily Nutley could face 15 years in prison <laughs> after police say oh she used her position to seduce a teenage boy and coerce him into an illicit sexual relationship. We're going to take a closer look at the allegations with former criminal prosecutor Dan Shore. Welcome so you mean she rapped the boy? Okay, that's what Sidebar, you mean. Sidebar, presented by Law and Crime. I'm Jesse Weber. I'm Jesse Weber. We got another female teacher who is accused of manipulating one of her male students into having sex with her. And this time, the allegation is that it happened in her own office at a high school near Cincinnati, Ohio. So Hamilton <laughs> County prosecutors, they have charged 42-year-old Emily Nutley with six counts of sexual battery. Those are... And man, look at this. Look at this basic-ass bitch right here living in the nice neighborhood, not all cut lawns and everything. She's got a little jogging suit and her coffee mug. This is like a typical suburban mom right here look at that that is like a suburban driving the kids around in the van going to soccer practice mom and she's having sexual relations with an underage boy so she's she's statutorily statutorily is that a word i don't know raping a young boy this little soccer mom right here third degree felonies and it's our understanding if she's convicted she could be facing up to 15 years in prison and she would have to register as a sex offender yeah. now according to the district attorney's office nutley was a teacher at saint xavier high school this is a catholic Plus. school in springfield township a catholic school of all places she apparently was the supervisor of a program that helped kids who were struggling academically and she had just started at the school when this alleged misconduct reportedly happened Authorities say the victim, a male student who was 17 years old at the time, had been assigned to the program in the fall of 2023. Okay. And that is when they say Nutley and this boy started getting physical. They were also communicating over the phone. <laughs> Prosecutors say Nutley sent the victim nude photos, Whoa. sexually explicit text messages. The indictment against Nutley, it isn't available to the public to obviously protect the victim, but the state says that Nutley performed oral sex on him at least oh, once geez. while on school grounds and one time off campus. And she also allegedly had sexual intercourse with him after hours in her school office. So now the victim apparently tried to stop these encounters with Nutley from continuing on, uh -oh. but she allegedly harassed him over text messages. <laughs> Officials say school administrators, they got wind of what was happening. See how I say guys that women cannot handle rejection at all. He, re he was trying to reject her and then she started harassing him. And they launched an what internal you know? investigation, brought this alleged conduct to light. And then the school had contacted the Springfield Township Jesus. Police to do a criminal investigation. And now we know that she's facing charges. Now you might be asking, who is Emily Nutley? Well, she is a married mother of three <laughs> who reportedly previously worked as a counselor at a kindergarten, worked with special needs kids at that school before being hired by the high school. Also, we did a little bit of research of our own and we checked into Nutley using a powerful background checker Ooh. called Truthfinder. Ooh. And the only criminal history that she apparently has is related to not registering a dog more than 10 years ago. <laughs> by the way, long crime, we partner with Truthfinder. We use it to get details on all different different kinds of people yeah, in yeah, our yeah, stories, yeah, 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 yeah. but even to the community that they think this is an isolated incident, but they encouraged anybody who has information to come forward. Good. In a statement, Hamilton County Prosecutor Melissa Power said, let me be very clear. This is child sexual abuse. Thank you. This child was the victim of an adult predator who should never again have a role that puts her in contact with children. Yep. She used this child for her own sexual gratification while taking advantage of the position she held. Ooh. My office will prosecute this matter fully and thoroughly to ensure that justice is served. Well, thank you, Melissa. Thank you. Because most women, 
get lesser criminal sentences than men. You know, he said that uh, she could face up to uh, 15 years, I think it was. She's not going to get 15 years. I, I promise. We we can look this up later if we need to, if you guys want me to. You know, keep keep track of this case. She's not going to get 15 years. I, I fucking promise. You know, oh, my kids need me. What are they going to do without their mother? Uh, well, you shouldn't be around kids. You know, if if this happens and you're a sex offender, can you be around your own kids? I don't know. I, I, I honestly don't know. If someone knows, let me know. Let, write it in the comments, please. I, I don't know if you have to go away from your kids if you're a registered sex offender. That'd be pretty tough. But... Don't, you know, don't diddle kids. <laughs> How about that? And I wanted to bring this up. I wanted to do this video because it seems like multiple times a week there are stories of all these female teachers playing around with their male students. Like, there's so many more coming out nowadays. It's it's insane. And it's still considered weird for like a, a guy to be a teacher, teaching younger kids and stuff like that. But we can see here multiple times a week of these female predatory teachers. So why is it considered weird or like, oh, men shouldn't be in the same room as like a, a girl or something like that? Well, apparently, the, the women can't be in the same room with boys either because they're going to end up touching them and sending them new photos and stuff like that. This is just to point out the the crazy, like, pr proliferation of the... Uh, man, I, I'm getting flustered here. I can't talk. I can't talk. Jesus Christ. There's just, there's so many of these female fucking teachers messing around with kids. Oh, man. Get your kids out of public school if they're there, man. This is gross. Anyway, that's enough of that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, please. Like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. Please take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. I love you all. Talk to you. Talk to you next time. Bye.